Welcome to Time to Pray's 40-Day Soul Detox. Today's focus will be unforgiveness. Today we will choose together to detox from unforgiveness. Say it with me. I am a child of God. I am loved by God. And I am the light of the world. Unforgiveness is one of the greatest causes for a hardened heart against God. But see, I understand why forgiving others is so hard. It's hard, but let's put this in perspective. Do you know what the first things that Jesus said on the cross were after getting beat, stripped naked, humiliated, and mocked? He said in Luke 23, 34, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is the first thing he said. He could have said anything in the world, but he chose these words and it was recorded. God is calling us to be courageous in the way we forgive. And maybe for some of us, we've been victimized and there's a process of grieving and healing. So for those who have been victimized, let me help you and replace the word forgiveness with another phrase, release. To release is to let go of all of the things that you have been holding on to. Release it to God. What is something that you need to forgive? What is something you need to let go of? Unforgiveness is like holding on to someone while they are walking freely in the room. You get dragged wherever they go. Forgiveness and letting go is not giving in and getting walked over, but rather getting free from another person. It takes courage though. Craig Rochelle once said, the first to apologize is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. And the first to forget is the happiest. This is why when we forgive and believe that we are forgiven, we can truly shine. If you think about it, because of Christ, our sin is not just forgiven, but it's forgotten. In Christ, God erases our sin. It's gone, wiped away, wiped clean, as if it never happened. If unforgiveness tempts you today, say, I cancel unforgiveness in Jesus' name. It's time to pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you now because we know that true breakthrough and deliverance comes through forgiveness. We choose forgiveness today. We forgive the person who we're thinking of right now and surrender those feelings of hurt and bitterness with your divine strength. We forgive because you forgave us first. Thank you for restoring us each and every day. I pray that we can walk in this forgiveness more and more. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.